squad. I hope everyone's having a fabulously magical day wherever you shall be watching this. I am coming to you again with another collab. <laughs> we could not stay away from the collabs. We had too much fun last time. Sorry if I sound tired. I truly am. But uh, make sure to hit that big thumbs up and that subscribe button. I'd love to have you. So without further ado, we're doing another collab. And this is going to be called, thanks to my dear sweet friend, Nikki, over at Nikki's uh, Halls and Crafts. She um, helped me think of all the collab and the name. So here it is. It's called the Galentine's Girls Just Want to Have Fun collab. Yay! Super excited, right? And this is week one of the four weeks I think we're doing. We're doing from January 14th to February 14th. So I'll link all the lovely ladies down below that are participating in the, the collab. <clears throat> so without further ado, I'm just gonna do a project share for the first week. I know lame, but I promise you it's super cute. Okay, so here is what I created for this week. And make sure to go and subscribe to all the lovely ladies down in the description, bo description box. You will not be disappointed. They're very talented crafters and very amazing people in my life and are special to me. So go check them out. Um, this is what I created. Okay. This right here is what I created for the first week. And of course it has to have shaker ears because you know I am the shaker queen in these parts. <laughs> and... Um, of course, it's a unicorn because I love me some unicorns, but you all know that already. So I created that. What I did was I just, um, it's pretty simple. All I did was fold, like fold a piece of paper over, connect it to the bottom. You can see here how I connected it. Easy peasy. Um, so I used some heart paper, of course, because Valentine's, why not? And then I used some of the... BB craft tool. I use some of this gorgeous, gorgeous um, tinsel eyelash thread. And then I use some of these, of course, the paper flowers. And then um, what I did here was I just took, I'll show you the punch I used. I used this punch here to get the scalloped edges. So I layered, I actually got this paper from MPP, this gorgeous unicorn paper here. And so I layered it with another pink sheet of paper so it had some contrast to it. And I took this and I just cut it down. And I went ahead and made the horn and I just used my spray adhesive and put some glitter on it. And then for the eyelashes, I used my die cut, my die cuts that I have. And then for the blush, I just used a little bit of stickles and some Tim Holtz Distressed Inks. And over here on this side, of course, no mailbox is complete without, uh, you know, you got mail. <laughs> so I put Magical and I have a little Brad here holding it. And then I put a little gold unicorn. How cute, how cute. And I'm thinking of putting this on, you know, those dollar store candlesticks. I'm thinking of putting it on that so it can stand up higher and not just sit on, you know what I mean? So anyway, and then I used some mint green paper and it moves freely, which is awesome. The back is completely sealed. I used some rainbow paper. Um, what else can I say? Mint green in the front. And then what I did was I just painted the inside this silver metallic silver color. And I went ahead and used this gorgeous little girl. And I matted the inside with, as well, with some of the heart paper to match the top. And you know what? You can put for a Valentine's gift, it's perfect for anything, any Valentine's Day related. You know, you can give it to your loved one or your children, take it to school with them. And you can just fill it up with little Valentine's cards and have it sit on their desk or whatever. The possibilities are endless. If you have a little girl, it's perfect for a little girl. Or, you know, you know, I have my inner child that I like to fulfill. So, <laughs> um, I made it for me. 
but uh, I made a few cards not too happy with the way they turned out to be quite honest um, I colored these with my Copic markers um, to the best of my ability to make chocolate and graham and marshmallows everything is more fun with you like this is the first I was just sitting in my room and just made a few little cards so you know you can stick that in there okay so you have there's one card and then I made this other little card again nothing special just plain red card stock um, I went ahead and put a gold doily and then I put a Maggie Holmes bow and a little rose and this says I love you and I just cut around it a little bit bigger to layer it with the red to match the back here and then you just open it and it has the doily on the inside so that is what I created like I said not too too much and you can just you know shove them in there and you got yourself some mail but nonetheless I think I am gonna put this on a candlestick so that way it sits a little bit higher and uh, yeah that is what I had to share so I hope you guys enjoyed again I'll show you really quick the cards so this is for week one this is what I created super simple and easy anyone can do and make sure to please 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 put her like this go check out the um, other lovely ladies in the description box below there will be a playlist created, so make sure to go and follow each and every one of those lovely ladies. And I'm super stoked and excited to have this other collab going. We had so much fun in my Magical Christmas collab that we had just had to keep this going, you know. So, without further ado, until my next upload, or live for that matter, you all know what to do. Stay magical. Bye.